What's good everybody? It's your boy JD back with another NBA 2K24 video and a bunch of you were asking for some additional gameplay on this new ball hawk build so I thought it would be fun to make it into Derek White but you know we had to go with the ball Derek White. Ball Derek White is different helping the Celtics out of the first round with a couple of big games and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I haven't done a lot of gameplay videos but I'm going to bring you guys some clips and then a full gameplay of me playing in the theater, doing some 1v1. I'm going to be showcasing more of the offensive side of this build rather than the defensive side. Do something a little bit different. You know, if we're going to make it fun and do something like Derek White, we're also going to get you a gameplay where I team up with an NFL running back and we run a little twos game, so definitely stay tuned for that. And then lastly, I got you a nice rec gameplay, probably my favorite game mode. So we're going to have a little fun with this video, something a little bit different. Let me know what you... Uh, think about it if you want to see more of these and some of the other different builds going forward But quick update. This is where the build is at right now You can see you know, we got some decent playmaking just enough to move around. We've got that solid dunking and everything uh, We've got the decent defense on it. We got the 95 steel. We got the 68 blocks so we can get the chase down and then the physicals You know, they're not looking too bad either. So that's what the build is looking like that you'll see in all of these clips here. And a bunch of you always ask for the animations and everything like that. So just real quick, wanted to show you guys, these are the animations that I'm running on this build with the 70 ball handle, 75 speed with ball. You can get all these dribble animations and everything like that. And then the jump shot, this is my go-to jump shot. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you see I rock this Tracy McGrady jump shot with the Troy Brown Jr. and the KCP uppers. So just wanted to show you that real quick before we get into the video and all I ask is that you guys drop a like for me subscribe if you're new let me know like I said if you want to see more gameplay and stuff like this on some of my other builds what you want to see going forward as we get to the end of the NBA season and into the playoffs and without further ado let's get right into it let's go All right, so our first stop is going to be at the 1v1 court. Um, you guys know me. I'm not a huge dribble head or anything like that, but uh, I thought I'd take this build into the 1v1, see what we could do. See if we get a little crossover, a little, a little contact dunk animation there. Um, but just wanted to showcase more of the offensive side of this build. Um, you know, like I said, it's got the, the 89 driving dunk right now. It goes to 90. A little crossover snatch back, green up. You know what it is. But uh, good ball handling and everything. You know, it's got 87 mid-range. It's got the nice three ball and everything on it. So I really wanted to showcase that. I think in the build video, I kind of focused a little bit more on the defense. So I got a full gameplay here. We're going to go ahead and show you that after a couple of these clips are done. And then we'll move into the park and into the rec. So let's get into this first gameplay here. So I'm not saying that by any means... I mean, you can only play the people that are in front of you that the competition was great by any means, but uh, let me tell you, it was getting late at night when I was recording this, and your boy got a little tired, a little laxed, and this game ended up being a little bit closer than it probably should have, and on top of that, the, the theater itself just seemed very, very laggy. Um, as you can see, we're going to a little back up here. We're going to try to hit a little midi fade right off the bat, and we go ahead and clank it, so right away we got to play some defense. Uh, he hits a little little snatch cross, whatever you like to call it. But we play with good hands up defense. Again, this build is six six. It's got the max wingspan. We pull it back. We knock down the three, get an early three nothing lead. Uh, six six max wingspan. So even though it only has right now like a twenty five interior, you know if, if you're cutting off the lanes and and you play good hands up defense, you can still get some nice concess. That move kills me every time. I don't know why. When I ever I come into the one v one and they hit me with that little little hesitation kind of cross back over move, it just it just gets me. I don't know. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, um, what was I saying? I was talking about playing in the in the theater and in the, the lag and all that good stuff. You see, we hit it down. Another three ball there. But uh, again, just really wanted to showcase more of the offensive skill set on this build. Um, you know, obviously with the 95 steel having the, the gold or Hall of Fame interceptor. Not going to do too much for us here. We're going to get a couple of rips in a couple of these clips. Uh, you see, we get a nice little contest there. We grab the rebound. Again, 25 rebound. Uh, offensive and defensive on this build right now. I showed you the stats on it. As you see, we get a little, try a little step back. It didn't work there, but uh, <clears throat> rebounding to me, especially when you're playing the 1v1, it's all about positioning. So whether you have a 25 rebound or you have a 99 rebound, it's about boxing out, getting good position. Um, you know, you can get the boards. 
Um, that's really true in any game mode. I mean, you can be effective. See if we get a little crossover here, a little pull up at the free throw line, knock it down green. We have an 8-5 lead right now. Um, you know, like I said, going back to the rebounding thing, it's just about getting position, whether you're getting offensive rebounds or defensive rebounds. You see we get a little wall up animation there. We get the board. He gets a little reach in. We're going to reset this. Um, but anyway, this theater 1v1, it's not make it, take it. This is the losers out version. I actually prefer this version. As you see, I tried to just do a quick little pull up three there. Didn't work. Um, I actually prefer the losers out version over the make it, take it. Um, I think it just makes the game more interesting. Um, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments. Which, which version do you prefer, the make it, take it, or the losers out versions of the 1v1? See, we just get a little quick blow by. I don't know what that animation was. We have a 51 driving layup on this build, but we were go able to go ahead and green that. Um, you know, if you're on the on the back end of a of a game, you know, having the the losers outs definitely helps you keep you in the game. I guess maybe it takes away some of the momentum if you're playing uh, make it take it or whatever things like that. But as I mentioned to you, you know, your boy was getting a little bit, you know, a little bit lax late in the night. We weren't quite probably locked in as we should. We tried to go for a contact dunk animation there, but we were able to get, like I just said, get in good position. We got the offensive rebound. We got the putback. Now we're up 12 to 9. Um, the key really in the 1v1 in the loser's outs is once you get that lead, you see we get a nice little rip there, putting that 95 steal to good use. Go ahead and flush it home, and now we're up 14 to 9. And it's really just about continuing to score and take easy shots. Um, you know, take the easy buckets when they come along. You know, unless you're trying to go for some crazy clips or whatever. But uh, see, he turns a corner, gets a little blow by on me there. So we still have a 14-11 lead. And, you know, as long as we continue to, you know, take good shots and everything, you just see we get a little behind the back. I get stuck here. I was going to try to do a little post fade, but it ended up just pulling me up for a regular jump shot. So we're back to work on the defensive end of things. Um, tries a little behind the back move again there. But uh, I was no, I don't know what I was saying earlier. I was talking about that little like hezzy, uh, like snatch back cross move, whatever it is. I get cooked on that every time. I don't know why. You'd think one of these days I've seen it. That one right there. You'd think I've seen that move enough times that I would know how to defend it a little bit better. But uh, like I said, I'm not saying by any means I'm a I'm a comp player. I'm a 1v1 demon or anything like that but because I'm having issues guarding it now all of a sudden it's 14-14 and you know he for whatever reason decides to back up there 78 three balls all you need we green that now it's 14 to 7 I'm gonna skip over some parts here it was really laggy um, I don't know if he was lagging too or whatnot but uh, we come back we get out of it we knock down the shot it's 20 to 14 I know I got a little bit to play with here so you know, I don't know if you want to call it playing with your food or whatever instead of just putting it away. As you're going to see, I'm going to take a couple of bad shots. We get in a couple of nice little bumps there. He hits a quick cross and gets to the hoop. We're unable to get the chase down block, unfortunately. So now we got ourselves into a situation where we're just trying to get a score, and I don't. I make a couple of bad shots again because we were lagging, and, you know, now we're looking. It's 2020. we got to close this thing out. So I'm going to do a little, little cross over here, and we're just going to, Boom, right there, speed boost out of it. Get a little meter dunk. Contact dunk, you know, nothing too crazy, but I just wanted to showcase the build a little bit in the 1v1 there. So now we're going to head over to the park. Um, in this game right here, I ended up joining up with just a couple of randoms, and as you can see, the score was pretty close as we get the meter dunk here for a little while, but, you know, random's going to random, and boom, just like that. It's 18 to 9, and we're just going to show you this last little clip here, and then we're going to get into a twos gameplay that you're not going to want to miss, so... All right, so I went over to the twos court and I thought, you know what, I'll just hop on with a random here. And lo and behold, former NFL running back of the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Damian Williams was over there. He was just sitting by himself on the dot, so I figured, you know, why not? We'll, you know, jump on the dot, and he stayed there. So we're gonna little get a little twos game with an NFL running back here, which pretty cool, you know, I guess, to be able to jump on and you know play with that whether you know it's them or not on the account you know sometimes you never know um, we weren't in game chat or anything which probably should have been because the communication would have been much better but I was just kind of let him do his thing you see gets a little pull up there we got a nice little four to nothing lead but I thought maybe he'd want ISO I was like you know what cool let's let's sit back you know see what happens here so just kind of let him do his thing a little bit but like I said probably should have been in game chat to see if we could communicate a little bit better misses me there on the cut after you know an open shot 
throws a little lollipop pass, so I kind of know right off the gate, you know, right off the bat that the pass accuracy is going to be a little bit low and probably not going to be able to dot me like we should on some of those. But we're able to get the quick meter dunk. We go up six to nothing. Um, again, competition, you just play what's in front of you. But again, Damien, if it will, we'll call it Damien, I know maybe we'll be on a first name basis. I don't know. Gets to the rim, does a little park dunk here. And all of a sudden, we've got an 8 nothing lead. And I'm thinking, you know, this is going to be a quick, easy dub. And then tries to go up on two people. Ball gets blocked, goes out of bounds. Thankfully, we retain possession. But that's probably one, you know, if we were in game chat, I'd have been screaming to kick it back out and try to get an open shot or something like that. But uh, we get quick little inbounds, little, does a little step back, tries the little midi pull up again. And unfortunately, unable to knock it down. I tried to go for a rebound. You know, probably shouldn't have left my man open like that. But. They end up getting a quick, easy three, and all of a sudden, we're looking at an 8-3 lead, and they have the ball. Um, you know, we got to play some, play some defense, try to get a little bit of a stop here. He gets quick to the rim. I reached when I probably shouldn't have that 95 steal. A little bit of a tendency to, to reach. You know, you got that gold glove. You want to try to put it to good use, but uh, sometimes it, it gets the, the worst of me, I should say. Uh, right there, probably should have switched and stepped out, but fortunately, they, they missed the shot. We're back in business on the offensive side of things. He dishes the ball over to me. I try to get around to see if maybe we can get another little meter dunk. I'm not. I try to hit him on the cut, and they get a little tip animation. Thankfully, I'm able to rip the ball back, kick it out to the corner, knocks it down, boom. All of a sudden, we are looking at an 11-5 to lead. We've got the ball. I'm thinking, you know, we're probably sitting pretty good at this point. I cut to the hoop. We get a nice little easy dunk here gonna put us up 13 to 5 but uh let me know down in the comments if, you know if you guys have run across any of the uh, nba players foot you know football players any things like that that you've played with um i'm not gonna bore you guys with this here we, we hit a stretch where it was just some ugly gameplay uh back and forth missed shots missed opportunities bad defense you know all of that good stuff so again i'm not gonna waste your time with that but it's 13 to 5 at this point we've got a nice little lead they've got the ball here i tried to jump at that one didn't let me jump. He ends up getting wide open three, and it's 13 to eight. And they've got a little bit of momentum here at this point. So he gets the ball, gets the corner. Thought he'd break the dunk, but it ends up falling in. They, so they maintain possession. They get two points out of that, and all of a sudden now it's a three point game. And we've got to play a little bit of defense. You know, they gets the ball. He's doing a pretty good job on the defensive side, forces him into a bad layup, gets the rebound, kicks it out. I should have did my patented little spin base by line move and probably did a dunk there, but for whatever reason, I, maybe I just got caught up in the moment, whatever. You know, NFL player, I ended up kicking it out to him. Probably gave up an easy shot. Same thing for him there. He probably should have taken that three, but he's able to get to the rack, gets the hoop. Now we're looking at a 15 to 10 lead, and I'm feeling pretty good at this point. You know, we just need a couple of quick buckets and then he tries to throw a pass and the, since it's got the low pass accuracy gets a little bit of a lollipop pass they tip the ball they end up getting it back so now they've got the ball back again we need yet another stop uh, I played some bad defense there not gonna lie I tried to get the chase down but he's end up ends up getting to the hoop so now it's 15 12 you know like I said they've got a little bit of moment, momentum on their side we've got to get another stop here a little pump fake pulls into the mid-range I try reaching again like a dumbass, and they knock down another shot. So that one was on me there. 15 15. Um, like I said, now we need to figure out a way to get another stop. A couple of quick buckets, and you know, this game could be over. He gets around the corner there and pulls it back out. <clears throat> For whatever reason, I thought he was going to go up with that. He didn't. Damien tries to go up on the switch there, misses it. Guy gets around the corner, gets an easy bucket. Quick, um, you know. Like I said, park isn't my favorite game game mode by any means. Um, you know, let me let me know what you guys think. Are you guys a fan of park? What, what's your favorite game mode? As you see, we get a nice little stop there. So now we're down 17, 15. Um, but I don't know. 2K24 park just isn't for me. If you guys have been watching a lot of my videos, you know we like to hang out in the wreck. I think you know you get to play with more of your friends, more people that way. I think the gameplay is just more real. I don't know, maybe realistic, better. I don't know how you want to say it there, but uh, there I thought I had a nice open lane. He ends up cutting me off. Uh, does a little bit of dribble dribble probably should have hit me a little bit earlier there anyway he hits me and I end up selling the bag so down two again try to get back into business forces him into another bad layup gets the offensive rebound kicks it out uh, hits me with that little cross again tried to jump couldn't get there but unfortunately he was able to miss 
Somehow he got the offensive board and got that layup, and now we find ourselves in a do or die 19 to 15 hole. Kicks it out, tries to go for the little little step back midi for the win and misses it. They get the offensive rebound. He goes up, but I'm able to play good hands up defense and get the rebound. I kick it out. He fakes the shot. I think he's going to go baseline. He steps it back, and oh, there we go again. Another brick, and he gets a little spin dunk, and that's going to be it. But, again, I thought it, even though we lost, I thought it would be cool to bring you guys a gameplay. Not too often, like I said, dude, to get to link up with somebody like that. But we're going to head over to the wreck now. That's the baseline move right there that I was talking about that I should have did earlier in that one. But if you watch any of my previous videos, you guys know the wreck is where I love to hang out. I love the gameplay in here. I like the flow. I get maybe the variety of builds that you can use in the wreck, uh, maybe rather than in the park. I don't know what it is, but uh, again, just trying to showcase some of the offensive highlights here on this build. As you see, we're knocking down some fades. We're getting some contact dunks, but I want to get you guys into a gameplay here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you guys have been asking for some rec gameplay on some of our builds. You see, we get the nice little lane steal by my boy there. Tries to throw the lob. If you guys came to watch comp style rec videos, then you're in the wrong place because uh, I tell you, me and my boys, we, we, we just load up on any given night. We see a nice little pull-up midi there from our boy, Derek White. Uh, we just load up on a variety of different builds. There might be two, three, four of us some nights. We've got a full, you know, five, and, you know, we'll run two seven threes. We'll run, you know, four defensive builds. You know, we'll run builds where nobody's got any de barely defense, but, uh, we just go out and like to have fun, man, and that's what keeps this game, you know, fresh and everything. If, if you're just so locked in and try to play so competitive every time you turn the game on, then I mean, you're gonna get, you're ultimately gonna get burnt out after a little while. As you see, we get a little cut to the hoop. We decide to pull it back out, kick it to my boy, tries to throw another lob. <laughs> We're just back and forth again. We're just goofing off, having a good time again. A bunch of us, you know, a bunch of us got families, different stuff like that. You know, we got a few hours to hop on here and there in the evening. And, you know, we're not trying to get in and sweat out every game. Do we run into, a, a, you know, competitive games? Absolutely. But we're out here to try to get the clips. We're out here to try to have some fun. Um, you know, we uh, use a variety of different builds, like I said. Let's see, we get the nice little stop there, and we get into a nice little meter dunk. That's kind of a cool animation. Um, I like some of the meter dunk animations we get on this, and you'll see in some of the gameplays here, uh, as we go some of the, go for some contact dunks and things like that, we get a nice little contest. We're off and running and get on the break. Uh, my boy Godson brings, brings the ball up the floor. Nice little contact dunk animation there. That build that he's on right now is like a... Uh, 6'8 Derrick Rose, I think he kind of calls it. Uh, the build gets ridiculous contact dunks. Uh, the ball can shoot really well. Very good ball handling and everything like that. Um, you know, let me know down below if you guys want me to show you any of the other builds that some of these guys are running on. We get a nice little pluck there. We're off and running. We throw the half court lob. Are you kidding me? But that's the kind of stuff that we do out here, man. Um, but let me know down in the comments if, if you guys want me to showcase any of the, the builds and stuff that some of these guys are running. Because while, while I said, like, they might not be the most comp, you know, air quotes type builds, there's some really fun builds. Um, my boy Stan that's got the ball right now with the, the yellow mohawk. This dude is, is the Euro Step king when it comes to big man driving to the hoop you'll probably see some of the animations here at some point as uh see so you get a little stop they get a little meter dunk there and uh take a quick 18 to 14 lead not as focused on the gameplay right at the moment as we're just kind of filling you in on you know what we do in the rack like i said out here to, to mess around we've got a 6-1 slasher build uh that they run we've got like i said the 6-8 derrick rose build we've got a really cool uh 6-10 or 6-11 i think um Kind of like a, oh gosh, like a Giannis type of a, you know, hybrid build. Um, you know, some some really cool stuff there. Blake Griffin, that's what I was trying to think of. Kind of a Giannis, Blake Griffin hybrid type of a build um, that he runs. We've got a kind of a more of a, a hybrid lock type of a build. You know all the different builds that I have. But let me know down below if you guys want to see any of those. Um, 
you know, those types of builds if you want me to, to do a, not really a series, but, you know, like a breakdown, just a handful of them or whatnot. You see a nice little give and go off the inbounds there. This is a shot. We're still just a one-point game. Again, you know, nothing nothing too competitive. We, we play later in the evening. It's just something chill to do, wind down for the night. Like I said, have fun, get clips, try to go for a little steal there. We get the backside block. We're off and running. That's that's our center, the 7-3 center, running the break for us. Uh, Curtis cook it up a little bit there. Nice little give and, give and go kind of a, a deal from the AI to the cutting center. Uh, a little outlet pass here. We're off and running. We throw the oop. Pulls it down. Quick shot. Boom. Green. Um, but like I said, uh, you guys have been asking for the right gameplay. So I thought I would bring you guys this full gameplay. I tried to cut out some of like the inbounds, some of the inbounds passes, the fouls, all that type of good stuff. Show you just some more of the highlights of a game. Um, you know, if you guys want to see just some like live commentary type of you know different videos like that, definitely let me know. Uh, we could do something like that too if you want to hear all the reactions and everything that go along with some of these games and things that we do. Um, you know, definitely could bring those to you um, if you want to see as we get as we get the get them pulled into the nice charge animation there. But uh, we've got a nice little 27-23 lead right now as we're getting close to winding down the half. We're under two minutes to go in the half. Uh, Curtis brings the ball up court, gets a little cross, and like I said. Ability he's got, I think, has a 94 driving dunk. It really does play like a tall Derrick Rose, Penny Hardaway type of a build. It, it's really a beast. If you guys wanted me to drop that build for you guys, I'm sure I could get it from him and we could do that for you. Uh, you get a nice little shot contest there. We'll get the board. We're out in transition. Kicks it out. Just kidding. <laughs> Euro step. Probably should have kicked it out. Got a nice little Euro step layup there. Greened it anyway. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, you guys have been asking for the gameplay. Uh, you know, if you want to see gameplay on specific builds, so, you know, I've got this build right here that we're showing you. Uh, we could bust out the Larry Bird hybrid Chris Middleton build. We could do the uh, the Wembenyama Chet Holmgren builds. You see, we knocked down the three ball there. 78 three ball, baby. That's all you need. Get the right jump shot on that the build. That's one maybe mistake I think I made earlier in the years. I made a lot of builds that had, uh, you know, like my, I call it my good, nice little contact dunk mm, on them there. Uh, my Larry Bird, Chris Middleton hybrid type build, as I call it, you know, it's got an 85 three ball. Um, I've got a couple others that have a 87 three ball. My uh, Anthony Edwards build, you know, I've been playing on some of these builds as you've seen in the recent videos. This one here with the 78 three ball. So you see, we get a nice little lob animation there. 78 three ball on this one will go up to an 80. Um, but you know, my Kawhi Leonard build has, I think, a 77 three ball on it. The uh, Penny Hardaway build I think has a 77 or 78 three ball on it, but I don't know There's just something about having that nice mid-range, you know, if you've got that 84 to 87 mid-range um, You know, and you can either get the T-Mac or you guys have seen kick it out to the corner boom You know what color that is green um, Seen any of my other videos you know I use the the Jason Tatum base jump shot as well if you only have like a 82 to 84 three ball or mid-range very nice jump shot as well i think 2k labs just did something on the tatum jumper not that long ago as you see we're going to get out in transition here look at the little bounce pass the kick back out <laughs> got a little cluster under the hoops we pulled it out little little run out fade green that one too you can see we got 17 points in this game we got a couple of assists as we're just getting ready to wind down the third quarter we hit down another mid-range shot we're up to 19 points and you can see this game starting to turn into a blowout. So at this point, we're just all about the clips, whether it's the rebounds, the contact dunks, the bounce lobs, as you saw right there. Probably should have been. I think he was trying to throw a double lob right there, but we catch it in the corner, and we just decide to do a little midi pull-up green that here quick as we start the fourth quarter. But as we enter the summer and the, the NBA season's winding down, we get a nice little pluck there, put that gold pickpocket, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, gold, gold glove, to good use and then we get the dunk going the other way but like i said with the the summer coming up the nba season starting to wind down we get a little bounce lob there we're gonna you know want to do some different things so if you want to see like, like i said some of the, the my teammates builds some different game plays on my different builds i'll be more than happy to drop some of those for you guys um you know if you have any other ideas for the channel or different things you want to see definitely let me know down in the comments um, i'm game to you know, kind of do whatever here for the next handful of months until we start getting into that 2K25 new cycle and different things like that. But, uh, you know, we're going to get ready to wind this one down. Like I said, it, it got out of hand quick. We're going to hit a, another little spin shot there. Turn in traffic green. We're up to 29 points. And 
that's just about going to wrap this one up. Like I said, it, it got out of hand as we started getting into the third quarter and stuff like that. So we get the quick dub here. Wanted to drop that rec gameplay for you guys. If you're watching in the background, instead of just listening to me yap, you got to see some of what we do. Having a little bit of fun, play their game. Went to my boy Curtis with the 22 points, 13 assists, but you see we had 29, and that's really all I got, man. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Something a little bit different, like I said. Haven't really done anything like this with the extended gameplays or anything uh, yet this year. Um, you know, if you want to see specific game mode gameplays, different builds, like I said, let me know down in the comments. But I appreciate you guys for sticking around this long. Don't forget to drop a like for your boy. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.